Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Nick DiMatteo and welcome back for some more training. Today we have Crum. Now Crum is a four rounder, five minute block with a two minute rest following each round. So it's gonna be a 400 meter run. We're gonna dive into 20 single arm kettlebell squat cleans. That's 10 weak side, 10 strong side. You have to do all 10 before you advance to the other side. And then in the remaining time of that five minutes, we have thigh tap push-ups. We rest for two minutes. Now, if you don't have any equipment, we're still gonna go out for that 400 meter run. We're still gonna hit those 20 single arm backpack, in this case, squat cleans. And then we're gonna do as many shoulder tap push-ups or thigh tap push-ups or elevated push-ups, whatever that movement or modification looks like for you. Again, resting two minutes after each round. Now, ideally we're looking for that run, bike, row, whatever you're using for that aerobic element to be about two minutes. So you really have three minutes of play outside of that aerobic element to get all your squat cleans in and as many push-ups as possible. And ideally we want a weight that's gonna challenge us to do all 10 unbroken every single round. Now that should not be easy. And ideally we're not putting that kettlebell or backpack or dumbbell, whatever you're using for that odd object, down. We're not trying to put it down at all. We're trying to keep it, keep it going, keep our output high because we do get that two minute break. And the remaining time that you have inside of that five minutes for push-ups, ideally we're looking for something to be in the range of a minute and a half or more. Now, if we start to get into like one minute left over for all of our push-ups, then we start to lose a little bit of that output. We start to make this workout highly anaerobic, which changes the stimulus a little. This is aerobic. We're looking for repeatable outputs across all four rounds. So all of your push-ups should be within one or two reps of one another. And all of our finish times for our runs, rows, bikes, whatever you're doing, and our squat cleans, they should be within five to 10 seconds of one another. So again, we're trying to keep our output super consistent from round to round over the course of four rounds. A good repeatable push-up total would be in the 20s, 20 plus every single round. All right, everybody, have a great session. Get after it. I'll see you next time. Take care.